from the newsroom at news.com.au. This is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday, June 14th. Amber Heard has revealed she doesn't blame the jury for siding with her ex-husband Johnny Depp during their explosive defamation trial. In an interview on NBC's Today show in the US, the actress said she understands why jurors believed his version of events. But she went on to blast the verdict as unfair. Have a listen. Even somebody who is sure... I'm deserving of all this hate and vitriol. Even if you think that I'm lying, you still couldn't look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. You cannot tell me that you think that this has been fair. Depp was awarded $14 million in damages after the jury ruled that Heard had defamed him by referring to herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse in an op-ed. Entire suburbs were plunged into darkness last night as power outages hit Australia's east coast. Areas in Sydney's northern beaches and north of the city were affected after energy officials warned that huge swathes of New South Wales and Queensland were facing the threat of losing power. There are fears that homes in New South Wales and Queensland could be hit by more power outages this morning. Two AFL and Collingwood tall forward Mason Cox has been cruelly denied winning the inaugural Neil Danaher Trophy after the voting panel's call following the Queen's birthday clash at the MCG. Cox came alive in the third quarter of the Round 13 clash, having dropped a pair of gettable marks in the first quarter and missing two set shots in the second Second. Cox ended the day with a career-high 21 disposals, eight marks and six score involvements in one of his best games for a long time. However, footy pundits were left baffled when Demons midfielder Clayton Oliver, who registered a game-high of 43 disposals, was awarded the Neil Danaher Trophy for best on ground. Sydney Morning Herald columnist Andrew Hornery has apologised for the tone of his controversial Rebel Wilson article over the weekend – asserting that providing a deadline for Wilson to comment on her new relationship was not intended to pressure her into coming out. The senior reporter has said that his email was not sent as a means of threatening the star into coming out to the public. And finally, the Kid Leroy has again grabbed the headlines on his Arena Spectacular tour, bringing out the Wiggles to perform with him at his Melbourne show. Original Wiggles, Anthony Field, Jeff Fat, and Greg Page all graced the Rod Laver Arena stage alongside the rap superstar, with the quartet busting out renditions of Big Red Car and Fruit Salad. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Your update from news.com.au.